Today, I wanna to talk to you about the complexity of leading a large team. The larger the team, we see an increasing amount of complexity. As your team grows, so does the complexity of things like communication. And let's take a look at that one. So if you have a team of four, there's actually six different lines of communication. You move that team to five, 10, six, 15, seven, 21, you get the idea. As we add more and more people, the communication has a greater opportunity to become unclear and break down. So we have always said a perfect span of care for a leader is about six or seven people. When you get beyond that, things break down and it's not just communication. One of those things is the actual span of care and the leader communicating with everybody in the group and their group relating well with each other in an effective way. When we look at the next thing, I think you're gonna see it's really important too, and that is the return on work. We see a diminishing return on work the larger the team. Remember, we've said before, if you're wanting to develop people, you need something in this category. If you just want to delegate or dump, man, you can increase the numbers, but it's not near as effective as making sure that you have smaller teams. So for instance, if you say, hey, I have a team of 20 people in my parking crew, awesome. Well, I would break those out into three different groups and add maybe a captain layer in there. It's not, adding that layer is not something that we're doing that is gonna create more confusion or further dissuade communication from happening. What it does is it actually gives an opportunity for someone else to be developed, and it actually helps you increase the care, the communication, and the return on work by adding that extra layer in place. So now that you understand the increasing complexity of large teams, what are you going to do about it?